My thumb hovers over another name, and I scrunch up my nose and pucker my lips, dreading the mere thought. Walking seven miles home in my high heels sounds more delightful than a ten-minute car ride with Dean Asher. The wind picks up, forcing my hair to take flight. The cold almost chokes me. I click on his name and immediately begin muttering profanities into the night. Corabel? I don't know if I'm more annoyed or relieved that he picked up. Don't call me that. Why are you drunk dialing me in the middle of the night? Dean's voice is raspy, laced with sleep. I probably woke him up. Good, a silver lining. I'm about to explain, but he interrupts. Let me guess. You had one too many shots of fireball, and you're calling to confess your undying love. I always knew you had a thing for me. I grit my teeth, totally regretting my decision. I can feel his smirk from here. You know what? Forget it. I'll walk home. I'm about to end the call when Dean cuts in. Wait, wait, you need a ride? I thought you were calling an Uber. Yeah, well, some jerk stole my wallet, and now I don't have any money. But it doesn't matter, I'd rather walk. I really want to hang up on him. Don't be stupid, your sister would kill me if I let you walk home. Your empathy astounds me. He chuckles. Sensitive and good-looking. I'm a triple threat. You mean a double threat? You only named two things? What? I pinch the bridge of my nose, searching for some semblance of self-control. Deep breath. Never mind, just hurry up. I hit the end call button like it's my alarm going off on a Sunday morning. These are the moments I wish I smoked. I debate heading back inside, but I don't have any money for drinks, and I really don't want to be sucked into another riveting conversation with Seth slash Sam, so I lean back against the brick building instead. Only a few minutes pass before some moron sidles up beside me asking for a light. I glance in his direction and quickly inch away. He's a balding, pot-bellied man who smells like cooked carrots. I try not to gag. I don't smoke, sorry. I continue to put distance between us, but I can feel the man leering at me from a few feet away. Ugh. Let me buy you a drink, kitten. I cross my arms when I catch him staring at my cleavage. No, thank you. I'm just waiting for my ride. 